Typing is dead. Not really, but there's a way you can type three times faster without even touching your keyboard, even if you don't have that fast of a typing speed. Using Aqua Voice, I'll show you how to speed up your productivity by vibe coding, messaging coworkers, and drafting emails faster using AI-powered voice dictation so that you can be more productive at work. A Stanford study found that people using voice dictation type three times faster than those using their fingers, saving seven hours per week. And this makes sense because most people speak at 125 to 150 words per minute, but only type at 40 to 60 words per minute. So next time you're writing an email, Slack message, or to-do list, just speak it instead. With voice dictation, even Stevie Wonder can now ping you on Teams. And for people with limited hand dexterity, voice dictation is a game changer. You can speak a draft of an essay straight from your brain directly into your document or automatically transcribe what was said during a meeting into notes. We all know that copy and pasting code from ChatGPT into our code editor or even any document is way too slow. So that's why tools like Cursor and Copilot are so useful because they're integrated into the developer environment and have the context of our entire code base. So let's say that I want to change up this game. This is a Python Pi game, which plays Connect 4 like this. I think the colors are a bit bright, so I'd want to change them up a bit. So you could or normally just type into the chat interface. Cursor doesn't have this feature yet. So what we can do is use Aqua Voice to make the colors less saturated and also add black outlines to all the shapes. I think the shapes and the colors are way too bright and jaggedy. Maybe some anti-aliasing if you can. I also want to add a function that prints the current pl current player's turn called print current player turn at the top of the screen so that I know whose turn is it when playing. And then you can see that it adds the actual function in ticks so that it knows to kind of tell cursor that this is a function that I want you to implement. And then as cursor implements it, you can see that it'll just implement the code there. And this is a lot, again, a lot faster than having than me having to just type out exactly what I want, then backspacing when I don't like something or maybe going around. You can kind of just give it your stream of consciousness and then it'll make the changes as you need to. So I'm gonna accept all these changes. And then if I rerun the game, we'll see that all the changes have been made. It is player one's turn and then it's player two's turn and the colors are a lot nicer to look at as well as you having the black outlines. There's also another thing I would like to add just to test out an AI aspect of this. Let's say that I want to add an AI agent who will play the opponent's side and use a, some kind of search algorithm. I'm thinking like A star, Minimax. I don't really know exactly, but just pick something that you think would look good as well as potentially using alpha beta pruning if it's a good idea. I remember from school we used that or, or something, whatever like that. And then Aqua Voice will turn that into text, which again allows me to kind of speak my thoughts without having to reformat them manually with text as I would before. And then we can accept the changes here and then we'll rerun the code. So if we let it play and just let it go up to the to the top or whatever so it's it's going to try to make the pattern horizontally so if we should add a yellow right here it's correct um if it's gonna let me up yeah so it just made its own thing and it won for our next example i'm going to show you how to quickly send a message to one of your coworkers on teams or slack or any messaging service Hi, just wanted to follow up about our system design meeting earlier today. I don't think we should use AWS for our project since we already have a Microsoft license and access to the Azure SDK. I also think John's new haircut is really stupid and I hate the matcha he brings in. It smells really bad. Actually, wait, get rid of the part about John's haircut and the matcha. Never mind. Uh, could we discuss this more over lunch? Also make my message sound professional and cohesive. It does it kind of like in an email format, but you get the idea. Um, it'll send the message on Teams and with my coworker can then follow up with any other messages. But you can see how it would have taken me a while for me to manually type this out, as well as just being able to use my voice just makes it a lot more streamlined. Now let me show you how to take your email game to the next level. 
Dear Chamath, the 18th at 1130 Eastern sounds great. I'll include a Zoom link as well. Actually, can you put the original time in parentheses, but in Pacific time as well? And actually push the meeting forward an hour. Great. And also change the deer at the start to a high. I want to make the email a little more casual. And then I insert it there and I can then click send. And again, this would have probably taken me like a couple minutes for me to draft by typing by hand. And again, I really like how Aqua Voice changes the email I'm writing so that it captures what I mean rather than what I just explicitly say. And you'll notice also here that it automatically ended my email with a best Alex signature. That's because in the instructions panel, I have this custom instruction here, which makes sure that whenever I send an email, it'll attach or it'll let Aqua Voice know and the prompt that that I want to add emails with this certain signature. And you can do instructions for any certain formatting or any stylization that you want as well. Another cool feature that you probably noticed is when I typed in, when I said Shamath, it said it correctly. And that's because I added Shamath Pali Patia's name in the dictionary here with this feature. And this is useful for adding any names that have accents or that are very long and maybe hard to transcribe or hard to spell so that whenever you're saying them, it can then cross-reference and look them up to make sure that it's spelling them correctly. So let's say like, for example, I just remove it right here. And then, so now with the name removed, let me try transcribing his name. Shamath Polypatia. So it kind of got it sort of well, okay, but it's not the correct spelling. So then, so now that I've added back his name into the dictionary, I can then say, Shamath Polypatia. And then based on the dictionary name that I added, it'll be able to it'll be able to say it right there. Additionally, Aqua Voice has a new deep context feature, which essentially uses context from your screen in order to make the transcription more accurate. So it takes literally the text on your screen and then adds that to the context to make the transcription more effective. Another cool feature is the hands-free mode. If you double tap the activation, you can see I'm using no hands and it's just automatically transcribing what I'm saying into, into the transcription. And it's pretty much allowing me to brain dump all my thoughts, delete what I said before. So for today's class, I, we learned about AI and LLMs. We learned about the difference between deep learning and generative AI, how they're one and the same thing. Can you make a list of the models we learned in class? I think it was scikit-learn's gradient boosting trees, random force, XGBoost. And then we talked about different LLMs in another list, like Mistral, uh, I think we did Llama 3 or 2. We also might have done Gemini. And then when I'm done, I can just press the stop button and then it'll just automatically insert it into whatever OneNote or document service I'm using. You can download Aqua Voice for Windows and Mac in the description below where you can try it out for free for up to a thousand words to see if you like it. I really think it's going to be leading the voice dictation app market in the future as we've all seen the push towards the chat interfaces. I really think though the future is going to end up somewhere along the lines of Star Trek or a Tony Stark inspired Jarvis interface where we all will interact with our computers via voice and our natural language.